Hey, what's going on guys? It's Omniarch, and today I'm going to bring you another Call of Duty Advanced Warfare gameplay commentary. So, I figured I would do a little uh, story time for this video, because uh, now that it's winter time, I, I was thinking about skiing, and how I wanted to go skiing, and um, I figured I would tell you this story of the first time I went skiing, and to this date, the only time, actually, but not because of the story. Um, I actually had a really good time, it was really fun, and I was actually pretty good at it. Um, for it being like, you know, I had no instructor or anything, just my friend was telling me what to do. <clears throat> but, um, this wasn't, uh, this past winter, you know, the winter of, uh, 2013 into 2014. It was the winter of 2012 into 2013. So we went skiing, I think about the end of the winter. So it was either like January or February or something like that. Um, because I remember it being like relatively warm out, you know, like the snow was like kind of melting by the end of the day. <clears throat> and, um... So we had this plan to go with a couple of people, me and my friend Phoenix, but it ended up uh, just being me and him going to uh, to Bel Air Mountain uh, in New York. And we just like he uh, he has been skiing. He was skiing when he was a kid, so he's been skiing a lot. And I had never been um, skiing before, so I was like, all right, well, uh, I'm gonna just go with him. It sounds like fun. I'll learn. And uh, I guess we went on a day where if you brought in like a can of Coke, it was like it was cheaper. Um, or something. I don't remember what it was. I think it was like a day pass with like $30 or something. Um, I don't really remember exactly, but um, <clears throat> either way, we decided to go, just me and him, and he, the idea was I was going to uh, rent skis. Um, well, no, the original plan was I was going to use his brother's snowboard. I had never snowboarded before either. So the original plan was I was going to use the snowboard, he was going to use his skis, and then if I couldn't figure out how to snowboard, I was going to just rent skis when I was there. So, or I think, uh, I think he had an extra pair of skis. Um, and I had to rent poles, but either way, um, you know, I, I, so we go up to like the, obviously like the shortest mountain that the shortest uh, hill they have there. Um, I think it's like a green circle or something like that. Um, it was like the most beginner course. So we go up the ski lift or whatever. And I'm, I had like trouble even like getting on the snowboard just to like get to the ski lift or whatever. Um, so we get up there and we get off the ski lift and I like, you know, kind of fumble around a little bit and I literally couldn't ride the snowboard. Like I, I had to get, to get back on the mountain. I had to sit on the snowboard with like it between my legs and I had to go down like it was a sled. And I, that was actually really fun, um, to be honest with you, but I looked like an idiot, but it was a good thing because nobody was there. So I, I mean, I didn't really care. I was having fun. So, um, you know, I fumbled around, fell a bunch of times, and he laughed at me, and I couldn't get it to work, and I couldn't figure out how to snowboard, and I couldn't figure out how to, like, stay standing, because the board kept just, like, it kept, like, turning as I was going, and I just couldn't figure out how to um, maneuver it. So, long story short, I end up getting skis, and I get poles or whatever, they're fine. Um, they were a little too short, but it was whatever, and I, I started skiing, and I didn't fall. I fell, like, three times the whole day. And it was nice. So I was going down these uh, blue circles, or I mean, uh, green circles or whatever. Um, and they were really, really easy. And it was really fun. I was going fast. I had never experienced skiing before. So I was like, oh, shit, this is really sick. Um, so my friend Phoenix is like, hey, like, come on, let's go to a blue square. Like, it's, you know, it's not that much harder than, than a green circle. You're obviously not falling. You obviously understand, like, the mechanics of it. Let's just go, you know, we'll just go to the, to the blue square. You'll be fine. You're not going to fall. So I was like, alright, whatever. Uh, I didn't want to ski alone, so I was like, okay, what, I'll just follow you. And he was bored, because he, he's actually good. So he, he didn't want to, uh, you know, be skiing on the on the green circle. So uh, so I didn't want to bore him. So I was like, alright, fine, we'll go. So we go up, you know, the mountain a little higher, because, you know, obviously the, the, the as, as you go up, I guess it gets more difficult, depending on where on the mountain and how high up, you know, like how long you, you'll be skiing before you get back to the lodge. And, um... So we go up a little higher and we find uh, the first blue square and we go down it and I was fine. Like I didn't fall or anything. Um, it was a little more scary because it was uh, <laughs> it was a tiny bit steeper, um, a, a much more windy and uh, more opportunities for you to like go off into the woods or, you know, uh, whatever. So <clears throat> it was a little scarier, but it was a lot more fun. And I was like, oh, shit, that that was like that was sick. Like you just get like that adrenaline rush. Like, oh, damn, like I got to do that again. Like that was really fun. So um, we go you know we go around we go back down to the lodge go back up the ski lift and then hit a, bu a couple of different um blue squares on on the mountain it was fine um i don't know i think i fell like maybe once on the blue squares and then um so we're, we're doing good and uh he's like dude let's just go let's just do a black diamond like like you you obviously you're doing fine and i was like no 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 fuck that because i could see the black diamonds i could see them from where we were skiing and i was like nope 
I'm not gonna do that. Like, I can't do it. Um, there's no way I'm gonna, like, I'm not gonna go that far. You know, I'm not gonna push my luck that much. So, he's like, alright, well, I'm, I'm tired of doing these blue squares, so I'm gonna do the black diamonds. And I was like, alright, well, whatever, but I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna mess with that. So, he goes off, and I, I keep doing my own thing. So, at this point, I'm, like, skiing alone. And I do the black, or the blue uh, squares a little bit. A little bit more. Some green circles, just for funsies. And, uh, we meet up at some point back by the lodge or whatever. And, uh, we meet up and we start, we go back up the mountain. Together, we're together again. And, uh, so we go, we find this, uh, blue, he's like, oh, come, there's blue squares over here where I was skiing near the black diamonds. Like, you know, come up this to this part, you haven't been up here yet. So I was like, alright. We go up there, and, uh, we start going down this blue square. And, uh, so at some point during the track, the, there's like two, there's, there's like the steep hill. And then there's like the blue square that we're going down, you know, kind of windy. And as they intersect, I see Phoenix go down that, that steeper hill. And I was like, okay. And like, we looked at the sign and, uh, the sign said it pointed both directions with blue squares. So I was like, okay, that's fine. So I follow him and we're going down the mountain and it's literally like a, like more than a 45 degree angle. Like it was, or maybe it was like a 45 degree angle. Um, but you know, when you, when you have frictionless skis on, you're going fast at 45 degrees. And so I was going down this hill and I just, li I literally couldn't control myself. Like it was straight down. There was no, like I didn't, I couldn't maneuver or anything, you know, to slow down on skis, you have to like, you know, do S turns to back and forth to slow down. So, you know, I'm doing that. I'm trying to like pizza my feet so that way I can like push against the snow and slow down, but I couldn't do it. So I go flying past this, this one old lady, like I barely missed her by the skin of my teeth. I'm going, I'm flying down, F Phoenix is in front of me, he's flying too, and he can't control his skis either, and he's flying, and uh, you know, the scary part was, this hill that we were going down, that was straight down, uh, it was the hill where there's all the poles for the, you know, the, um, the lift, so I'm like, going super fast, I can't control it, and I see all these big, big poles, and I'm like, shit, I'm gonna hit one of those poles going as fast as I am, and I'm gonna break my arm, or break my leg or something. Like, I was shitting my pants. So, I was like, fuck. I, I, like, I was going, and I, I kept missing the poles, because there was kind of a lot of room, you know, so I was, I was avoiding them. But, uh, I, I was going through it down, and, uh, you know, I see Phoenix. I, one of his, um, ski, one of his boots came out of his ski, and he's, like, on one foot, and as that happens, I just, I like decided to bail at the same time because I was going too fast and I knew I couldn't stop unless I literally just fell over. So I literally just like slid back onto my back and, uh, like my ski, one of my skis popped off and I just like slid and rolled down the mountain <laughs> for a little bit. And, uh, uh, I get up and, uh, you know, the one, the one ski I had, it was luckily still near me. It didn't go like all the way down the mountain or whatever. Um, and the old lady that I barely hit, like, skied up to me and was like, oh, are you okay? Like, you know, what are you doing? Why did, why did, you almost hit me? Like, you almost took me out? Like, what you, and I'm just like, oh, I'm sorry, it's my first day or whatever. And she's like, oh my god, it's your first day and you're on this, this hill, like, what are you doing? And I was like, well, my friend, like, I was following him and he, you know, he was just, you know, I was doing whatever. And he, she's just like, oh, is he trying to kill you? Like, you're, you're crazy for coming up here on, like, your first day or whatever. Um, but she like helped me like help me up because I couldn't stand up and put my foot back in the ski or you know So uh, that <laughs> that was crazy and then we were luckily right next to a, a second lodge Like there's a lodge up on the bottom of the mountain. There was another one like up higher up So we like just you know went over there and like put our skis back on and clean the snow off of us and stuff And luckily we didn't, we didn't get hurt or anything, but um, yeah, so that is my story the first time I went skiing and um you know, luckily I didn't get hurt or anything, but it was really fun, and I want to do it again this winter, uh, so, you know, uh, hopefully, you know, maybe I'll have, uh, footage of that at some point, but, you know, no plans, uh, in the future for right now, but anyway, if you enjoyed my story, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like on the video, subscribe for more videos like this one, share it on Facebook, Google+, Plus, or Twitter, because that helps me a ton, and leave a comment in the comment section below telling me what you thought of this video, what you thought of the story, if you've been skiing, if you like it, or any other scary stories like that. But anyway, thanks for watching, guys. OmniArc out. Peace.